for joining me for another shave. Today is Sunday and I'm going to do a single edge Sunday shave. As you can see by the thumbnail, I am using the treat razor I picked up over in Quichi a couple weeks ago. And this one is 100% correct. I have my older one here that I got over at one of my local antique shops. And you can see this has a Gem Junior handle on it and this is the proper handle with the uh with the red bottom these came in all different color handles too some people collect these for the different colors there's a red one i think there's uh orange there's also uh some other different colors i don't know them all i've just always wanted this one with the with the bottom now before i get into the tools of the shave i just want to talk about this razor because uh it looks a lot like a, a Gem Junior or a Gem 1912 or a Gem Junior baton handle, but it's not. Here's a Gem Junior. This razor is kind of weird. It's a, a hybrid between the Gem Junior and I've got my clog proof here. It's kind of a in-between of them. As you can see the guard on the clog proof. There's the guard on the Gem Junior. And there is the treat razor. And this is a closed comb, like the uh, the Gem Micromatic clog proof. And this is post-World War II. And these clog proofs are around World War II. The Gem Juniors, they go through World War II and post-War II. I think this was just under the treat uh, name brand. That was that razor. You don't see any... Uh, other ones like this at the 1912 design but no i'll probably end up giving uh this one away it's in really good shape it just has the incorrect handle on it so all right blade today obviously i'm going to be using a gem uh persona stainless steel coated blade i uh i got the uh i gotta order those uh new ones i'm accutech blades and i will do a whole video on them because there's a there's some kind of things with them. There's like an in-between packaging, a mess up. And yeah, I'll talk about that in a different video. Needless to say, the uh, Accutech messed up their packaging. So there's two different packagings of the same blade. And some people don't uh, like the new blades and all that. And one, of the, one of you guys asked me to uh, review the new blades. And I, well, I'm probably just going to get a five pack from Razor Emporium. I do not need a, a hundred pack. Let me get rid of the uh, the watch here, the Militato. I'm still wearing this. This is my favorite watch. It's quartz, sweeping quartz. I can definitely recommend this. It, uh, there's an AliExpress sale going on. It, I think it ends today. What's today? Today is the 25th. It ends tomorrow. But I have had nothing but uh, this watch is awesome, accurate. I can recommend it. I was going to do a review on it, but... I'm not gonna. All right, got for a brush today. I've got my vintage Everready. What is it? Uh, 200 uh, Badger. Or no, this is Boar. Sorry, no. With a nice green handle. I got Arco, Lucky Witch Hazel, and some vintage uh, Avon Wild Country in this Winchester Good Shot, two ounce plastic it's actually a nice size be a good travel aftershave all right let's get this lather going i also found out with the turkish shave soaps derby they don't make it anymore and the same with jib corin so i'm going to be a little sparing on that they're very similar just more of a, a scent thing arco is good though i have no complaints with arco some people can't stand the scent of it but i tell you what it lathers well It's good stuff. I went to some uh, flea markets this morning, and uh, the only thing I seen was a keen cutter single edge razor, and I don't need one of them. Oh, and there's another Weishi. The razors around here lately have not. It's been thin pickings and 
yeah, condition on stuff is not great. Hope you guys have been good, getting good shaves. I've been getting some excellent shaves this week. I haven't, I've been doing just one day just gross shaves and I've yet to have a bad one this week. See, I haven't shaved the dome yet. I've probably got five, six days. I'm just trying to see how the, uh, I let the bump heal on the back of my head. I'm seeing to see if I'm graying out yet. And I know some of you, because I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel, you're older and saying, yeah, okay. All right, let's do a pass. First pass. But this one, it's flat against the face. Seen a bunch of straight razors today, but no safety razors. Oh, and a Durham duplex. And I seen a wreck, but I don't want to have to, another razor I got to buy proprietary blades for. As for the aggression of this one, it's on the medium to mild. It's not aggressive. Now, if you lift up on it, it's going to be on the aggressive side. I let this darn brush soak for about 20 minutes in the dang thing's drying out on me. That's why I like synthetics. Now don't get me wrong, bore brushes are nice. I just like my synthetics for the consistency of the lather. I can take that DS Cosmetic brush and lather just about any shave soap with it. There's no hairs coming out. Gotta catch up with some videos. I'll be doing that after I upload this one later tonight. See, there's boar hairs all in there. I'd love to re-knot that brush, but I, <laughs> I would set some people off if I did that. I'd re-knot it to a uh, synthetic that looks like a boar knot. Now, I haven't been uh, watching videos too much. I try to like your guys' videos. I just, my niece is, uh, she's going to school, so I've been uh, for her first uh, year. I've been spending time with my brother and my niece before she goes to school.
make sure the side burns are even uh, a little bit more there's something when they're that age she's four No, this handle's awesome. It's got good grip. Uh, of all the Gem Juniorous handles, I like this one the most. Now, my favorite is uh, the Gem Junior G3 set. But I like the baton handle because you have good control. It's got a knurling, and this is Bakelite. may have to do yeah another pass all right gotta be careful it's been a while since i've done a uh shave with one of these That's good. Yeah, another pass on the lower neck. Yeah, I'm not going to chase. It's close. It's not. You guys would be like a nine point, you know, in between 9.5 and 10, something like that. And I'm not seeing any cuts, which is a good thing. seen any which is good hey lucky witch hazel I was looking for the uh, septic pencil I don't know where the heck it went oh it's over there all right cool no I'm not feeling any burn Oh, four or five drops. Oh, nice classic wild country, and they still do make this. Avon does. But if you've got an antique shop near you, now I don't have one that sells the yeah the and the vintage aftershades. I used to. She uh she used to sell she sell Avon back in the day and had a bunch of it, and I bought up all the stuff that I like and use and but she went out of business she got flooded out there over in Whitehall. that was carol's collectibles very nice lady i never had a bad experience with her uh yeah i miss her shop i'll tell you that stopping uh, talking with her so 
Now with these uh, gem blades, you can see those uh, towel-based soaps, they leave a residue on here. And what I do is I just take the blade out and I rinse it off and I let it dry in a safe spot where the edge isn't going to be affected. And with these, I take a washcloth and I just wipe them down good. Some, uh, I think it was Jim was saying he uses a uh, scrubbing, some kind of uh, scrubbing bubbles or something. I just wipe them down good and I wash them with a toothbrush once a year or something like that. So no, I can recommend this, uh, this treat razor. It's, uh, it's not overly aggressive. It's nice medium to mild and, uh, this would be a good beginner's razor for technique because this one's easy, just flat on the face. Uh, under the nose can be tricky, but in Gems literature, they said go sideways. And uh, against the grain, it's not too bad. It's good. This is a good razor to cut your teeth into gem style razors. And the handle does uh, come off. You actually can put custom handles on these if you want. And then see, comes right off. Uh, I've seen some with wooden handles. And there's a couple people that... Uh, that sell adapters. You can put a Gillette handle on one of these. I've seen them. And so, yeah, they're brass, nickel plated brass. This one's wearing a little bit. Uh, there is a couple of platers that will replate these, but they're so inexpensive. It's a kind of a why kind of thing. So, no, and, uh, you know, Gem Junior is good too. And the clog proof, I, I, I like my Gem Razors and I like the clog. I like them all, to be honest with you. The only one I kind of don't care for. And I still have it, is the EverReady shovel head, the 1924. But I do get it out for a shave once in a while. So that's that. Nice single edge Sunday shave. Um, you got any comments or questions about uh, these this treat razor, please put them down below or your opinion. All that kind of stuff. I hope you guys have a great week out there until I see you next. By that time, I might decide to take this off and uh, do, uh, uh, you know, a beginner's. I already did a beginner's. Uh, head shave with carts, but I might get out a DE or an SE, and I'll do beginners with that, so, all right, hope all is well, I appreciate you, you guys take care out there, and happy shaving.